Satisfy thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Praise God. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Amen. Fearing the Lord. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as the Father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting, and upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto the children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, you his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Amen, amen. And that's, that's a beautiful picture, I believe, of what God wants our heart to be like. Bless him, fear him, do his commandments. Amen. amen. I love to see... Uh, uh, people of God when they're walking in that way and I'm sure you, a lot of you as well do too it's, it's just um, it brings joy to my heart and it breaks my heart of course when I see people off course or they, they're not listening to the truth and they're being deceived and it's heartbreaking may God help us to be obedient to, to honor him as he deserves the next final point uh, that I've gone through here number 15 Kind of goes back to a little bit about what we talked about in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. But uh, the point number 15, and is, it's very clear as we read about the apostles, is they had a willingness to suffer for Christ, right? Because ultimately, that's something that's going to happen. If he, Jesus kind of promises that, right? Yeah. That you will, in this world, have tribulation. But be of good heart, I've overcome the world, he tells us. So we know that's just part of you know, we might, have, we might have to face. So, um, and we also know uh, agape love is kind of what God wants us to have, right? For people, agape love. That's the kind of love where you're not really receiving anything back. In fact, you might even be loving someone that is absolutely mean to you and just the opposite of, you know, someone that normally you would be able to love in your natural self. Um, and agape love involves suffering. We see Jesus on the cross, right? Agape love, suffering. Oh, the suffering, right? And maybe you've had some people in your life that they've hurt you in some way and you've you suffered, right? You feel like it kind of put you on the cross in an emotional sense, right? But that's when you can pray for that person, like God says, pray for your enemies, right? And those types of things. That's the way that we can show that agape love. That doesn't mean you have to trust that person necessarily depending on what they did or even necessarily have fellowship when they're still walking in a way that's against God. But we can still show love by showing grace, you know, praying for them, right? And still trying to be, for the, be there for them if they turn back to God, right? Um, and not lashing back in a negative way to someone that maybe has hurt us, right? Which is not always, it's not always easy to do, but that's what God calls us to be that way, right? Um, so that's important uh, to remember as well, that willingness to suffer. So we're going to look at Hebrews uh, chapter 11 verses 23 through 26 to kind of drive some of these points home regarding that. And if someone can read that, that would be great. Chapter 11, verses 23 through 26. By faith, Moses, when he was born. 
born, was given three months by his parents because they thought he was a beautiful child and they were not afraid of the king's command. By faith, Moses, when he became of age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the fasting pleasures of sin, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the pleasures in Egypt, for he looked into the Lord. Amen, amen. I love these verses. This is so encouraging to me. I'm going to just kind of reread verses 25 and 26. Again, Moses, it says, was choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect under the recompense of the reward. So we see here that Moses had a right heart. He wasn't after the stuff of this world, the materialism and the things that Pharaoh could give him. He was all about serving God, and, and he had the right understanding that uh, I need to fear God and serve God no matter what comes my way. Whatever persecution, whatever suffering comes, i got to put God first and go through that if need be to pick up my cross and follow the Lord. So that's uh, another thing to remember. You know, is we may not have the treasures of Egypt, but when we have Christ, that, that's, that's all we need. Amen? That's all we need is Christ. You know, so, and sometimes God will even reward you with things of this world to do his work, um, but we can't put that before, before Christ and, and um, the things of this world before Christ. And we need to be willing to stand for him even if it requires persecution. Amen? Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 So, um, I thank you guys for, uh, for your... Uh, coming today. It's been a blessing, and um, I think what we'll do now is um, bless the offering, and then before that, we'll pray for the people. So does anyone else have any prayer requests? We had a little prayer this morning, but does anyone else have any prayer needs we can pray for? You guys are all good? Okay. Bless the offering then. So Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, God, just for all those uh, that put uh, finances toward the church, Lord. We ask that you bless them in a mighty way, Lord, that you'll just meet their every need many times over, God. Uh, we just thank you for uh, the opportunity to serve you as well, Lord. And I just ask, God, that you'll help the church to grow, Lord, that you help us to be like the Book of Acts church, Lord the functioning and the power of the Holy Spirit and the, the power of the gifts, Lord, that you would be glorified in all that we say and do, Lord. Um, I pray, God, that you give us unity in you, that you uh, fill us with the Holy Ghost, Lord, that you would uh, bring people from all nations to serve you, Lord. You help us to clearly communicate your word and that you help us to glorify you for your wonderful works. And help us, Lord, when we face mockers and doubters, Lord, to be like Jesus, to be like Noah, to be faithful despite the mocking and the unbelief around us. I ask God that you'd help us to even understand the prophecies better and to explain them better to others that many more might come to know you as Lord and Savior. I pray for great church growth, Lord. I pray, God, that you'd help us to walk in the apostles' doctrine and not uh, any false doctrine, that we'd have good fellowship and prayer, Lord, that the fear of God would be present in our hearts, Lord, and that you'd help us to have selfless love and giving and sharing and great joy and praise to you because you're worthy, Lord. And give us a heart willing to suffer for Christ, Lord, that we would stand strong for you. And whatever we go through, Lord, help us to keep praising you. Give us that strength by the power of your spirit, God. We ask this all in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Thank you. So we'll uh, see numbers. And I thank you, Lord, just for all you've done for us, Lord. I just ask God for your, your continued blessing on everybody here, Lord. 
like to say uh, the, the, the benediction as well. May the Lord bless thee and keep thee. May the Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give you peace. And I ask this all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming, everybody. <laughs> Good to see you. Praise God. Thank you for coming. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> amen, amen.